Hey guys, welcome to uh, Noonday Prayer, a day, uh, daily encouragement and Noonday Prayer. We uh, started this, this is day 13. Uh, we started to start be praying daily for our youth of Bladen County and the youth of America. Uh, we've got a event June the 1st called Get Lit Bladen 2019. And God is really blessing, really moving. I'm very excited about it because God is breaking down walls and barriers. We, we have uh, denominations have come together. Many pe different people are coming together to make this possible. God is doing this. And so that's what the devotion is going to be today. I want to get started with something positive um, before we pray. But I'm going to wait for people to sign on. And if while you're coming on, I wish you would uh, share this video. Let me know where you're watching from. And um, we will get right to uh, what God has laid on my heart today. There's a lot of different walls out there. There's a lot of different barriers that we have to face. And with that in mind, I was thinking about, you know, looking in the Word of God, God broke, he, the, the Holy Spirit breaks walls and barriers down consistently all the time in our lives and in other people's lives. He, uh, he delivers the addict. He uh, heals the sick, sets the captive free. And um, what just kept coming to me today, I was talking to um, the organizer for this event that we're doing June the 1st, Randy, and we were talking, and God is, is doing such a supernatural work breaking barriers and walls down. I got to thinking about Joshua. And... Um, in the book of Joshua, chapter 6, they were looking at coming into Jericho. They wanted to take the city, and God had told them that they had to march six, for six days in a row. They would march around the city and not say a word, but just blow trumpets. And on the seventh day, they would go around seven times, blow the trumpet, and then the people would shout. And as I was looking at that, I saw something in the chapter before that, in chapter 5, where Joshua got along by himself, and there was a man standing over there near Jericho, near the wall, with a sword in his hand. Joshua walks up to him. He says, are you with us? Or are you with the enemy? He says, no. He says, but I come in the name of the Lord of hosts. I'm the captain of the Lord of hosts. God doesn't pick sides. God is the side. And he was there to let them know, look, the victory is yours because I'm going to give it to you. You're not going to do it. I'm going to do it. That's how God does this thing. And we put it in his hands. Walls will come down. Things will happen. You know, and I, I, I'm reminded of that famous saying, Ronald Reagan, in 1987, he stood in West Germany next to the Berlin Wall, and he said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. And that's such a, a, a profound statement because that wall divided families. It divided a country. It divided everything. And when that wall was took down, Germany was, was united. And that's exactly how it is between us with God before we're born again, before we're saved. There's a wall there. That wall being our sin, we're separated from God. There's many people separated from God. That wall, that barrier there. There's pride that's, that's a wall. There's addictions that are a wall. There's, there's all kind of things going on in people's lives. God will flatten that wall. But what we have to do is we have to come to him humbly and earnestly and reverently, knowing that he's going to do it and putting our faith and trust in him. And in Luke, the fourth chapter, in verse, 30, verse 18, Jesus said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captive, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Now, he's come to set the captive free. You can't be captive without walls around you. He's come to break those walls down. Jesus demonstrated that while he walked this earth. Time after time, he broke walls down. He delivered captives. I think about Right off the bat, there was a woman in Luke, the 11th chapter, I believe. She had an infirmity for 18 years. She was bent over. For 18 years, she never stood up straight. Jesus come up to her, and he healed her. He says, be straight. Straighten up. I don't care how much you've been bent. I don't care which way you're bended. It may be an addiction. It may be family problems. It may be that you just can't get straight. God will drop, break them walls down. He can heal. He can deliver. He can set the captive free. He's come to set us free. And what we're doing in Bladen County, make no mistake about it, we're not coming just to have an event. We're coming to set the captives free. We're coming as Joshua and the children of Israel. We're coming in faith. We're coming in victory. And we're not coming in our own power, but by the power of the Holy Spirit of God. The most powerfulest force in this universe is the Spirit of the living God. And He goes before us. He tears walls down. He comes behind us and He protects us. He walks with us. And you know, it wouldn't surprise me if I looked over there and saw someone, a mighty man or a mighty angel standing there with a sword drawn. Are you with us or are you with the enemy? Neither one. I'm the captain of the Lord of hosts. That's the God we serve. Don't forget who he is. Don't forget that he has all the power and had to set the captive free and to deliver. I don't, whatever your situation is, whether it be sickness in your body, 
sickness and mental illness, spiritual problems, uh, physical ailments, addictions, all these things. Pride. Pride is, is everybody has a wall of pride. I'd struggle. We all struggle with pride. Pride being we want our way. We want things to happen the way we want it. We're not satisfied with where we're at. We want God to do this. We want God to, God's not a genie. God's all powerful and almighty, and God has a purpose and a plan for our lives. And when we realize this, and we realize that these walls that we're looking at, they don't stop us. They, they stand there to show us that God's getting ready to deliver us. Hallelujah. In Revelations, he says, Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm about to start preaching. So, I'm, <laughs> Hallelujah. Pray with me right now for the youth of Bladen County and for the young people, the youth of America. Pray that the deliverance from, from addictions, the walls of um, pride will be tore down, the walls of bullying will be tore down in their lives, the walls of um, social, social divide, divides between us, you know, classes, everybody's got to have a class, racial divides. All these walls are, are not by God's will, but they're walls that man has constructed. We have built these walls in our lives among each other. We've separated ourselves. We've divided ourselves among each other. But God wants us to come together in unity and walk in victory and in power, and he'll put them walls down if we'll put our faith in him. Our Father and God in heaven, I thank you, Lord, for your power. Your Holy Spirit, Lord, I just praise you. I praise you that walls are coming down. I praise you that denominational walls have already come down in our county. I praise you that turf, turf walls have come down. It's not about this church. It's not about that church, but it's about the church. I praise you that it's not about a man. It's not about who's speaking. It's not about who's singing. It's just about you. We give you praise and glory. And God, we know that there's no side but your side. And God, we just prayed right now that in the lives of our young people, those that are bound with addiction, we pray that wall be torn down. We pray for those that are being bullied. We pray that, that wall be torn down. We pray for those that have a, uh, when they look at themselves, Father, they, they don't see what you see. They, they believe the lie of Satan. They believe they're hopeless. They believe that they're, they're not worth anything when, God, they're more valuable to you than the entire world. Help them see that. Tear down that wall, Lord. Let them see how much, how much you love them and how valuable they are. And my Father and God in heaven, I pray that everything we do would bring you honor and glory. I pray supernaturally that people will see walls falling across this country and bring revival to America. And God, will again, we'll just give you all the praise and all the glory. Lord, let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. Oh, Lord, our strength and our redeemer. In Jesus' name.